this is a step-by-step -step registration process for the safe double QR. First, um, you have to go to the website. It's called safedavaoqr.davaocity.com and then you can start your um, registration process. You have just you just have to make sure that you have a copy of your latest photo of your face, uh, your photo of your valid ID, and a photo holding your ID beside your face. Then you can proceed with uh, the actual registration process. All you need to do is to fill out the form, your first name, your middle name, your last name, um, your gender, uh, date of birth, your mobile number, and um, your email address. So just make sure that you um, give the correct details because uh, your one-time password will be sent to your um, mobile number so there um, just take note that sometimes it takes a while to load the barangay so you have to just wait for a while while it loads and then once you uh, finished uh, filling out the form you can just click on the next button so in the next page you'll be required to upload a photo of your face photo of valid ID and a photo of you holding your ID beside your face and these are the valid IDs um, SSS LTO PRC ID OWA ID um, Comelec voters ID senior citizens ID, passport, school ID, and um, cert B PSA birth certificate if there's no ID. And then you have to click on that authorized button and um, the CAPTCHA that you are a real human. And you should click like three button uh, images here and then click on review. And you'll be put into the next page. So review your details, and if everything's correct, just uh, click All Correct. Then you will be prompted to another page, and um, click on the Send OTP. And then sometimes you'll, you'll get an error. You just have to wait until the Send OTP turns yellow again. That should be like in about less than 10 minutes. And then put in your code, and that's it. After you receive your QR, you can save it in your computer and then or send it to your email and, and save it to your phone so that you can use it because um, starting Nove November 7 there will be a mandatory enforcement of the Davos City QR so establishment will need to access your QR whenever you go to uh, their place or it may be required in some other places the places that you're going to visit so make sure you have it ready if you don't have a a mobile phone you can print it and then um, the establishment can scan it for you